A construction worker is dead after he was run over by a sweeper truck. It happened on Old St. Augustine Road in Princess Labeth Court in Mandarin this morning. Sky 4 flew over the scene as that investigation was getting underway. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live now from where it happened. Marilyn Cruz, as I understand, they went to back work repaving the road after police left the scene. And they're gone now, but they've been working on this side of the road for the last few days. I want you to take a look right behind me at this corner is where that sweeper truck was parked. JSO says the man driving the truck was in the same lane as the man working construction and directing that traffic. He just did not see that man behind him and neighbors say they didn't expect this accident to only involve construction workers, especially on this busy road. Crews started repaving Old St. Augustine Road in the last few days. Linda Cribs can see their work from her front yard and says it's easy getting around them. There was a gentleman out there helping uh, to get across and I had no problem getting across yesterday. She didn't know one of the crew members was killed this morning after being run over by a sweeper. That's just terrible though. I hate to hear that. JSO says around 945 a construction worker was directing traffic when his crew member was backing up this white truck. Police say the driver didn't see him and ran him over. He died at the scene. We're told the driver is working with police. Police took pictures inside the truck, saying that's a key part of their investigation. JSO says this is the 45th traffic fatality in Duval this year, but the first involving a construction worker. We reached out to the company preferred materials, but we haven't heard back yet. JSO says that construction worker was in his 50s. We don't have much information about that person at this time. And again, we did reach out to that company, but we just haven't gotten a response. Coming up tonight on News for Jax at 6, we review some News for Jax insider comments on this story. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.